about a year ago, my husband was diagnosed with colon cancer. He went through the seven months of chemo to make sure it was completely gone, got a clean bill of health in like February. And that happened and we thought everything was okay, like nothing else bad is gonna happen yeah. for a while, yeah. we're done. Yeah. <laughs> and then this happens. The road that I had my accident on is notorious for car accidents, and they're almost always fatal. It was Sunday, June 13th. We proceeded up the street, as we've done a million times in the past. Looking out the front window, kind of get an odd pattern of things going on in front of us. and can't quite immediately discern what that's all about. And I was coming around a corner and right when I was able to see ahead of me in the road, there was a car in front of me, then there was a large SUV. But quickly realize a car coming southbound towards us has crossed the center lane of the two-lane highway and came directly at us. I, I was watching the most horrific thing a driver could watch, which is this very large car is coming at me um, and there's no place this car can go. It's true what they say about these things sometimes happening in slow motion. That's the sensation I had, like a, a slow motion movie or an old time movie. Click, 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 and then the impact itself. It was all up to the car. It was, it was my car against his car. That simple. As the impact happened, the main memory I have is the sound. The sound of the impact was tremendous. When the accident was over and we were stopped and settled, uh, I immediately realized, we're okay. We're, I can't believe it, we're okay. Whatever is in the front end design, engineering design, took the energy from that collision and I didn't know what I was gonna find. And I got home and they were fine. Like they were walking fine, everything. That's the, that's the cabin of the car and it's absolutely intact. It's like nothing ever happened. The EMS people told me um, it's unheard of to have a 50 mile an hour head on collision. People are walking away from this. I've always believed life is precious. Um, this has just confirmed that belief. After this accident, the only car she is allowed to drive is my car, or my husband has an E-Class. So she can take whichever Mercedes she wants. You have to, at some point, consider, you know, what if? And what if I had not been in this, in this wonderful car? If I had not had the protection of this wonderful car? You know, what did I not say to people that, um, that are in my life, that are important in my life. My family, obviously, is precious to me. They are what I live for. They are my number one love. They are my number one everything. It's, it's what I do, who I am. My husband and I feel that we have been given a very special gift in that we can keep on with our plan, because we really are not through yet. We really are not through yet.